Hey everybody, it's your girl Kiara Washington and welcome back to my channel. I got an awesome comment from a beautiful soul on one of my videos just a few days ago and let me just say this, I've gotten comments from a lot of you all and they're awesome and I do have a list of content that I will be preparing for you all but this one I believe I can deliver in under you know eight to ten minutes and just give you some quick tips and tools on how to transition into a cellular sales retail position so if you're new to my channel my name is Kara Washington I have been in cellular sales for five years um, in March. I started with Verizon in 2018, March 2018 to be specific. And I've said this plenty of times before, but I'm gonna say it again. Verizon is that job that actually grew me up as an adult. <laughs> and I know you may be thinking like, what do you mean? It is the job that matured me. I had a lot of jobs in the past. I quit a lot of jobs, I got fired from a lot of jobs. However, this is the job that grew me up. This is a job that gave me a chance to really create a better life for myself. This is a job that first job that ever gave me real benefits. The first job that gave me really good pay. This is the first job that I was able to relocate with. Yada, 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 yada. However, I want to say this. If you come across my content and you are really working diligently towards getting into a career path or in a career field that doesn't necessarily require a college degree, this is always a good field to get into. However, now with it being 2023, I will say this. These are the couple of things you wanna look out for that have changed since I started creating content about tips and tools in 2018 and 2019. One of the biggest things that I can say has impacted the way that the hiring process works now from my experience being that I am currently a business account manager. I have a couple of stores that I support. And one thing I see often in my stores and in my partner stores who work um, regionally in the same area as me is a lot of people who, who end up working for Verizon, they stay. I'm really not making this up. Most people who get into an entry level position, they stay and they stay probably longer than stay in that position probably longer than they should. And so one of the biggest tips I can give you as someone who is really looking, if you're someone who's really looking to just get that job that is going to pay you more than thirty, forty thousand dollars a year, you want to kind of get in that middle income so that you can start to see things happen for your life. I'm going to tell you this, be strategic, have a mindset to not stay in the same position for, I would say, no longer than three years. And I would say make three years like your absolute max. After three years, at a maximum, you need to be looking for another role, another position, another company, something else to do. Because here's the thing about sales. Sales gives you a lot more experience than a lot of people realize. When you think about sales, you may just think about, hey, I'm selling this person this, they're coming in, they're looking for this thing, and I'm helping them get that transaction completed. I'm ringing it out, blah, 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 blah. But that's not just what you do. One thing you want to remember in sales is you learn a collective of skills. You learn a lot of hard skills. You learn a lot of soft skills because one thing that has to be on point in a sales career is your listening. You have to listen because you have to know what to present. Your product knowledge needs to be there because you have to know what to be able to have as a companion device or something additional to sell. Anyway, I don't want to go on a tangent. I would say the next thing that you want to focus on um, or the next tip or tool I will give you is this. I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Networking is going to be a, um, one of your best friends. You need to network outside of your store. So Verizon does this thing where, and I'm pretty sure AT&T, T-Mobile, all of them do it. They do something every month on consumer side, and it's like a monthly, what they call, I believe it's a monthly download or a monthly, it's basically a monthly virtual meeting. Like they do a lot of recognition. It's like kind of like a territory call. They give updates about the business, things that are coming down the pipe, you know, just new things about the business that's happening. If there is an opportunity for you to be able to speak on a call, to be able to even do something um, as simple as help with slides on a call, do it, okay? Because I don't care what anybody says. People say, 
oh, people are hired based on their skill. Yeah, yes, most people are hired based on their skill and based on their experience. But I will tell you this. What is true here is true in pretty much every job I've ever worked in or every career path I've ever worked in. It is about making connections. It is about being seen. It is about pushing yourself to the forefront. And I'll say this, since I've been on business side, I have not been networking as much as I should have been and as much as I was before I got in this position. That is something my current boss gets on me often about because she's like, here, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to make sure you're doing this. And I'm just kind of like, girl, bye. But she is right. <laughs> she's right. You know, the networking has to continue to go on at some capacity because that is what this is about. This is about relationship building. And if you know people, the amount of doors that can be potentially open for you just expand because you've done the the work of getting to know people and shaking hands and meeting with and having meetings with the correct people. I would say the next thing is, uh, I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Look at your commissions every single day. Now I know in the store, and this is something that has had the store numbers as far as, I know when, when I first moved down here, we were still kind of in the beginning of, of the pandemic. So uh, a couple of my stores and a couple of my uh, co-workers stores, they were up and down as far as rep numbers. Like sometimes they would have people, then sometimes people would leave or people would get transferred, all these different things, right? And that is because Verizon in 2020, I believe it was August 2020, they went to team a team compensation structure, which moved from an individual compensation compensation structure to a team compensation structure. Now that changes how much money you can make because basically your money is tied into a group effort. And so just imagine yourself coming from the outside. You don't necessarily have the resume yet to get a mid-level or senior position such as myself, but you're coming in, right? And you're 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 gonna work your way up. I will say I will say this. Here's a great way to transition. You can always do retail sales in the store for one year, right? After you do your one year, you've been able to master your job. Now mind you, you're on you're on you're on team compensation because it's a group effort, right? It's a team effort. Once you do that for a year, if you really enjoy the sales part and you're not necessarily looking to go into management, look at becoming a telesales rep, which if you know anything about telesales, that's all done over the phone. It's a work from home job. I would be extremely honest. I know in 2021, they were hiring, a, I mean in 2022, the beginning of 2022, they were hiring a lot for this job. And then I remember in 2020, before I ended up applying to become a business account manager, they were hiring a lot for this job. Over the past five or six months, I haven't seen many recs on, on the job board posted for. However, when it does become available, people will really seem to go into this uh, position because they are able to make so much more money because it's based on your individual numbers. So as I've said before, if it's your first time coming in, get in the door. Do the inside sales store rep job for a year and then really try to get into telesales really try to get into a role with verizon or another company it doesn't have to be verizon okay it can be any any company and get into a role where you have the pot potential to be a lot more in control of your money because it's based on your performance and that performance is not tied to anybody else's performance last but not least have a mindset to win when it comes to this have a mindset of really figuring out what your strength will be. Because people who have a mindset to win, they're gonna find something that they're great at. They're not gonna spend a lot of time figuring out the things that they can't control. They're gonna be very real with themselves and very aware with themselves that there are things that are outside of their control and those things may, for lack of better words, suck. However, they're gonna find what their strengths are and they're gonna capitalize on their strengths. For me, one of my biggest strengths have been my ability to be able to build relationships with people. That has gotten me very far because I know how to build relationships. Now, I'm not going to say I have a great relationship with every single customer I have because that would be a lie. But I would say a great majority of them, trust me, I have a good relationship with them. Things work out for the benefit of myself and the customer. And so 
have a strategy friends family all of y'all have a strategy okay and keep in the forefront of your mind what your why is i have shown y'all and I have told y'all um, when I'm in my office, you always see a picture of my mom behind me. My mother passed away five years ago from stage four cancer. My mother is my biggest why. And just real short, the reason why she is is because I know for a fact that I am that next generation that is able to push forth the dreams that she had. Um, I won't get on my soapbox all big about that, but that's my why. She's my motivation. And so because I always remember um, her and so much that I do it makes me want to strive to be greater strive to be better So remember what your whys are. Okay, remember your reason for why you wake up every morning and why you show up Okay, and why you don't give up on yourself and push yourself to that next level. Okay Please if you got any other content you want me to focus on talk about you know mention let me know leave a comment for me Be sure to like this video and share it because look we never know who may be educated, motivated, or inspired, okay? And if you are getting interviews and you're getting hired, please let me know. I love to hear the stories of you all getting hired. I love to hear the stories of these interviews. It lets me know I'm doing something right because, as I've said plenty of times before, sometimes I'm up and down with the content. But when I get back here and I know that you all have said, Kira, I got the job. Kira, I found you on Instagram. I found you on TikTok. And I just want to let you know that your words of encouragement, your tips, your tools, your videos helped. I feel great about that. So um, I hope in my prayers that you all enjoy the rest of your day. I'm your girl, Carol Washington Speaks, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.